hey guys today we are going to talk about my new project uh, which is uh, uh, Peltier cooling system uh, this system you can use into your PC or uh, anywhere uh, basically it is a test unit so you guys can see how the Peltier performs with the water cooling system and uh, uh, by the way let me show you how uh, what is the items I'm going to use here what items I'm going to use here so first you can see these are two aluminum radiators uh, which I bought from scrapyard and uh, under this uh, two aluminum heat sink we have four numbers of Peltier you can see the black wires how many one two three and four four Peltiers uh, and in center there is uh, I fixed one cooling bo cooling block uh, which is uh, fixed in between the four peltiers uh, you can see here two on this side and two on the other side and after that the fans uh, already installed for the aluminum heat sink uh, right here you can see I'm using a 12 volt battery to power this whole unit up um, not the whole unit actually uh, the two fans which are uh, on the either side of this uh, aluminum heat sink and of course the pump which is also a 12 volt uh, DC brushless uh, pump so that pump is also powered by this battery I'm going to show you and uh, then we are having one radiator 120 mm and uh, uh, 120 mm uh, fan which is brushless DC fan to power up this fan and four Peltiers I'm going to use uh, this Xbox power supply which is uh, rated at 12 volt uh, and 16.5 amp so to test the temperature I'm going to use my regular uh, thermometer which is infrared thermometer you can see so let's begin you can see the water i'm using is 20 uh, percent uh, radiator coolant with uh, 80 percent uh, mineral water or you can use distilled water so it is going to work better so let's uh, start the test and uh, let's see how well it is going to perform with the radiator coolant and uh, and the water cooling system so here I'm going to power up the uh, fan uh, the pump and the uh, aluminum heat sink fan so you can see first let me show you just the temperature in the room uh, the temperature around here is around 27 or 28 degrees inside the room it's a uh, pretty normal temperature it's not very hot and it's not uh, cold but uh, it's uh, it's a good temperature to test such uh, units so let's power up first the pump in order not to damage our four numbers of Peltier because uh, once I start the power supply the Xbox power supply uh, this is going to quickly heat up the Peltier and when it is not getting heat dissipation so it will damage within a few seconds so let's power up the pump first I'm combining all the black wires and the red wires for positive and the black wires for negative We just need to secure these wire a little bit in order not to get them disconnected if these are disconnected means uh, it is going to 
stop the pump and the water circulating to the radiator will stop and the peltiers will may damage so let's power up the xbox power supply which is going to power the four numbers of peltier and uh, it's going to also power up the fan which is going to be loud because uh, i'm go i just want the radiator to get cool as much as possible and dissipate the heat so we can check the maximum performance of four numbers of Peltier in a little bit warm or hot room so just let's uh, power it up so as you guys can see it's uh, it started and the starting temperature for this uh, heat sink is uh, 27 degrees both side you can see and the uh, cooling block which is going to get very hot uh, by the Peltier's hotter side is you can see increasing the temperature very quickly but it is also uh, uh, reducing the heat uh, dissipating through the uh, radiator so it is not going to get much hotter so let's uh, check uh, how well it is going to power up so I installed these two fans which are the original fans uh, on either side of the uh, heat sinks uh, because uh, I just need to blow some normal air which is around the room in order to test uh, that uh, how fast it is going to get uh, warm I mean the cooling side the Peltiers are cooling these two uh, heat sinks uh, and making this block hotter so the water is circulating into the uh, radiator and then it is going to the reservoir and then it is coming back into the cooling block let me give you a tour so as you guys can see here the cooling block pipe is going into the radiator uh, which is uh, very hot water going to the radiator and then hot water dissipates the heat into the radiator through this uh, cooling fan which is blowing uh, very loudly very high rpm fan then the cool uh, normalized water enter into this uh, reservoir uh, where the pump is acting We're really activated the pump is active you can see the water it is uh, just uh, pumping up the water again back to the cooling block and then it is uh, cycling the water this way and the peltiers are making these two uh, heat sinks cooler right now I can feel much cool air from this side of the heat sink and let me show you the temperature that uh, we achieved up to now we reached nearly 20 degrees um, keep it in mind that the fans are running on either side of the heat sink uh, if I just stop these fans from blowing the air these uh, heat sinks will get colder really really fast because there will be no hot air moving around these uh, heat sinks so for example if there is no hot air interaction with these uh, heat sinks so these heat sinks will never get hot and it will just get colder and colder that is very easily achieved but once you start blowing the air so the air which is inside the room is normal and it is going to dissipate all the heat into this uh, uh, fence uh, the aluminum heat sink which will make these uh, aluminum heat sinks hotter and reducing the cooling effect 
let's let me show you how much we achieved up to now you can see it is 19 degrees still uh, it's a pretty good effect uh, sometimes it is going below 18 also let me check So you guys can see it reaches almost uh, 18 degrees, 18 and a half degrees of air it is blowing from here. As you guys can see here, let me demonstrate to you. This tissue paper is not going to stay here because this fan is blowing air from this side and it is sucking air from this side. So you guys can see the air coming out from this uh, heat sinks. Basically it is throwing the air both the sides. These two sides and two sides from behind. If we just block uh, the two uh, rear... If we just block two of these uh, sides, like it is also blowing the air from here, basically. Let me show you the temperature of uh, water and uh, uh, radiator. Let's find out. It's almost uh, stable at 35 degrees, 36 degrees around. You can see 36 degrees. And also the wiring is getting hotter. Uh, you can see it's almost. 30 degrees the wires are really hot because of the load of four peltiers plus one fan so hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video uh, the idea behind this uh, uh, video is that we can achieve uh, quite a bit of uh, cooling effect from uh, these uh, four numbers of Peltier module and if we just add on these blocks like stack them one and other so maybe and if we just use a little bit more powerful fan at uh, both the sides so this is going to be outside which is going to be inside the room circulating the air and that part we can fix outside the room uh, or outside the wall so this device can help us uh, make the room much cooler uh, and give us a little bit uh, ease in the hot weather uh, in the summer. So hope you guys like the video. Please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye. Thank you.